Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video I want to show you how to set up a cohort analysis in a very very easy way and the end result will be just like that where we can keep track of our customers from the first order that they made until the last order and also keep track of the retention that this number represents. And if you stay tuned to the next video, I will show the end solution that I built where we have a bit more options where we can also keep track of our cohort by invoices, by sales and switch between the number of the cohort and also the retention. Stay tuned. Before I start developing, I will share the model that I'm using. It's a simple model, so we have only three tables. We have a calendar table, a fact table with our sales and a dimension for our customers. And just to show you the data is dummy data. So we have in the sales table, the invoice, the date of the invoice and the customer ID. In the customer table, we just have the customer ID. And at the calendar table, we have the date and the end of month. Pay attention to this column, it's very important to develop the cohort. So the first step that we need to do here is to create a new column in our customer table where we need to get the first order that each customer made on this table. So to do that, we need to do a calculate and get the mean date from our invoice date. And then we need to get the end of month of each of those dates. So to do that, it's very simple. I just need to use year month function. And the second argument will be zero because we don't want to dislocate any month to the past or to the future. We just want the current month. So after doing that, we can format here for short date. And now we can go back to the canvas and I will show you uh, how this data will look like. So let me put a table here, a matrix actually, and let's display the data that from this table. And now we need to have a measure to count the amount of customers that bought from us. So to do that, let's create a new measure that we can call customers and the measure will be a distinct count from our customers from the sales table and if if i evaluate this measure here we have now how many customers bought from us in each month so now the next step is to check how many of those customers kept buying from us in the next month so to do that, we need to create another calculated column, this time at the fact table. So let me create a new column here that we can call months after first order. And now we need to do a date diff function where the difference in months will be from the first order to the current month of each invoice so we can get the related from the end of month from the calendar table as the sales table and the calendar table are linked are related so we can do this relate function and we need to get the months so after doing that we now have the difference in months between the first order and the order that they made now and if we show that in a matrix, the data will look like that. So we have already our cohort by customer here, but now we need to calculate the retention. So to do that, let me duplicate this matrix visual and remove the measure and we need to create a new one. So we can call this measure cohort and we need to create a variable that we can call first month and we will do a calculate of our customers measure and we will filter all our month 
months after first order column where months after first order is equal to zero and then we can return this first variable just to show you the logic and if we display this measure in the matrix visual now we have the number from uh, customers repeating for each clusters of first order so we have here 948 repeating for all the months and that's exactly what we need because now we can divide the first month and the second month by the first month here because it's repeating for all of them so to do that we just need to create another variable that we can call cohort and will be a divide from our customers by the first month and we can evaluate it here and transform format as a percentage and now we already have our cohort retention so the next step is to format those matrix so we can go to style presets set to none and we can also activate the conditional formatting for the background so it's easy to see where we kept more customers so we can do that by going to cell elements activate the background color it's already correct here customers and we can remove the empty values so we we'll look like that the same here and we can also remove the column subtotal it's not necessary and as the retention rate will be always a hundred percent for the month zero we can remove the month zero from this bottom matrix and yeah it's done as i told you very simple straightforward and i hope you enjoyed bye bye